you in year one. In English this week, we're looking at question marks. We're doing lots of practice of basic things at the minute because when you come back to school, we're going to be doing loads and loads of writing. I can hear you all yawning. <laughs> we have a lot of writing to do. So we're just practicing lots of things that we're going to use in this writing because we're, we're going to be very busy. I promise you that. Okay, so we're looking at question marks, as I said. Now, I've got a few questions for you. What are punctuation marks? What are punctuation marks? Lots of you probably know what, know what they are, but don't actually know what that word means. Punctuation marks are things we use in sentences to help break sentences up so we're not just talking over and over and over and over again. Things like full stops. That's the main one you need to know in your sentences, capital letters and full stops. But there are other ones too. So today we're looking at one of the main ones, question marks. When you're asking someone a question, you use a question mark at the end and lots of you probably spot them in your reading books every day when people are asking questions and it looks like this okay so we're going to find out when we use it and why we use it okay why is it important punctuation marks tell the reader when to take a breath so we don't run out of breath we can't just read sentences over and over and over and over again that would help us to understand the sentences. If you just keep reading your reading book and don't stop when there's a full stop or a question mark or something, it's very, very, very hard for the person listening to understand. And it's hard for you to understand what's happening in the book with all the different words, just word after word after word with no time to think, okay? What punctuation marks do you know? As I said, we know mainly in year one, the main three are full stop, question mark today, and we'll be doing exclamation marks soon some of you use these in your writing sometimes don't worry if you don't it's still quite early in the year okay so most sentences end with a full stop the sentence after a full stop always starts with a capital letter and you know i'm always going on and on and on about this okay so let's read this sentence and see what we can spot jack had a pony called bill every morning jack gave bill a carrot can you spot all the capital letters and full stops in this sentence well, yes, we can. We've got, so we've got a capital J for Jack at the start of the first sentence. We have a capital B. Why do we have a capital B for Bill? I can hear you all shouting. Yes, that's his name. And we have a full stop. So that's the first sentence. But because our next sentence is starting, we need a capital letter again. Every morning, Jack gave Bill a carrot. So we've got a capital letter there and a full stop here in our second sentence. Can we spot any names? Yep, we've got Jack and we have Bill. So... We've got capital letters at the beginning of every sentence, each two, two of them, and we've got a capital letter at everyone's name, and there's the names are mentioned four times. Jack is mentioned twice, and Bill is mentioned twice, and obviously we have two full stops as well. Okay, let's see what our next one is. A question mark ends a sentence which includes a question. A question is when you're asking someone something. So for some information. So here's our question. What are you doing after lunch? And because you want to find something out, we have that question mark at the end. And don't forget, we always have our capital letter at the beginning, okay? So that's when we use a question. Anytime we're using a question, we will have a question mark, okay? Now, I want to show you something before we do a little game. There are lots of question words. There are main ones which come up often, lots and lots of times. You use them every day to each other when you're talking to each other in class. People are always asking me, when's it break time? Because you're always hungry all the time. So let's have a look. So we have who. I'll give you some examples people use in class. Who has broken my Lego model? That's one of them. Who has stolen my Peppa Pig pencil? That's another one. Okay, what? What on earth is that hat you're wearing on your head? <laughs> what time is it? What's for dinner today, Mr. Finch? When? When is it break time? And when is it lunchtime? Constantly. Even as soon as people arrive in the school, you're asking me. It's not even nine o'clock yet. And people are like, when's it snack time? I'm hungry. Always hungry all the time. When is it your birthday? This is one I might ask you. Why have you poured Lego all over the floor instead of just taking what you need? Why are you not feeling well? Where did you go at the weekend? Where did you go for your holidays? How? How long? How many? How much? All questions I'm asking you in maths. How old are you now? When's your birthday? How big? How many towers? 
how many cubes tall is your tower? How big is it? Okay, lots of things like that. So they're the main ones, and lots of them have actually something quite interesting at the start of them. The the WH diagraph making. So we have what, who, sorry, who has that, but it's said it's pronounced differently, different differently with a like I said in phonics the other day. We've got when with the w. We have where with the w. We have why with the w. And we have how it doesn't have the w, but it's another question mark. And people get it mixed up the spell because it has similar letters in it. Anyway, let's get back to what we were on. So I want you all now to get yourself a piece of paper, or you can even just use your hand to be honest. You can use like, this could be a full stop, okay? And this could be a question mark. You could draw it in the air. I'm going to read you a sentence and I want you to tell me. Whether it's just a normal sentence telling you something or whether it's a question asking someone for information that they do not know. So I'll read it to you, okay? Cain is going to the fair. Cain is going to the fair. Is that just a normal sentence with a full stop or is that asking us something? Well, I can't see any question words like I've told you at the beginning. So let's see if you're right. That's just a normal sentence. Kane is going to the fair. Full stop. Okay. Can you help me find my pencil crayons? Look at that one. Can you help me find my pencil crayons? You're right. That is a question because they're asking, can you? That's another sort of common question. You're asking, can you help me? And they're going to give you an answer. Yes or no? So it's a que if they have to give you an answer, it's a question, isn't it? There is your brother. There is your brother. What do we think? Well done if you got that one. That's a full stop. If it said where is your brother, it would be a question. But someone just pointed out, there's your brother over there. Okay. Is grandpa coming to visit next week? Is grandpa coming to visit next week? Is he coming to visit? Does it need an answer? Yes, he's coming to visit. No, he's not coming to visit. It needs an answer, so it must be a question. So it must have a question mark. Okay. Our class is going to the zoo. Well done. Just a normal sentence. If it said, is our class going to the zoo? And the answer would be yes or no. That would need a question. But it's just saying, it's just telling you something. Okay. Where is my coat? Question mark or a full stop. Where? Where is my coat? Well done if you got that one. Yes, it's a question. Where is my coat? I don't know. Go and look after your own things. That's what it'll probably say back to you, wouldn't it be? <laughs> okay. So, let's have a go of another little game. And Roy the Zebra. Takes, takes a few seconds for this one to load, okay? 13 seconds. So you can think of some question words while you're listening to this. Maybe you could ask me a question. Maybe you could send me a video of a question today. I like the people who sent me little videos in class yesterday. I, got, I had loads of videos yesterday, actually. Probably the most videos I've had from you. So let's make this go. So help said collect his tools. Collect tools by dragging the looking glass to give a sentence its question mark. So we're going to read it and see if it needs a question mark and we'll put one on it. So we have two sentences here at the top. We have, we are going swimming and are we going swimming? Do any of them need a question mark? We are going swimming or are we going swimming? Well done if you've spotted that at home. Are we going swimming? Yes or no? It needs an answer. So it also needs a question mark. Yes. Okay, we'll take this tool over for Zed. Let's look at our next one. I like swimming, does it need a question mark? Or, do you like swimming? I like swimming, or do you like swimming? Which one's the question? Well done, the question is the bottom one again. Do you like swimming? Yes or no? Yes! Okay, let's take this watering can over for Zed Shed. We've got two more questions left. I can swim or can you swim? Which is the question? 
I can swim, or can you swim? Which one's going to have an answer to it? Well done if you spot it. It's the bottom one again. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. Or no, I can't swim. It's going to need an answer, so it must be a question. Yes! Guide the survey. Another tool for Zed. Okay, next one. Where is the swimming pool? Or here is the swimming pool? <coughs> Where is the swimming pool? Or here is the swimming pool? Which one's the question? Well done if you spot it, the top one's the question. And look, it has one of those question words that often start with that WH consonant diagram. Where is the swimming pool? Let's put that question mark in. Let's drag this tool over for Z. We've got one more. Now explain what you're doing. I can jump in the pool. Sorry, I can jump into the pool. Or can I jump into the pool? I can jump into the pool. Or can I jump into the pool? Can I jump into the pool? Yes, you can. No, you can't. It's too deep. It has an answer. It must be a question. Let's put the question mark in instead of the full stop. We don't need the full stop anymore. We only need either or. Always build something or always change. Okay, I'll get rid of this. So guys, here's some more question words. So let's read the ones we already had. We have which, which one, what if, who, why, where, when, how, what, whose. Lots of them, and lots of them start with the WH, which is going to be in our spelling test next week. So that's a hard spelling test, guys. Good luck with that. Um, so that's lots of question words for you. Let me just show you what you're doing. This is the first page you can start on, okay? So there's sentences. You have to read them and see if they need a full stop at the end or a question mark. A few of those. Then this one here, you've got some word cards. You've got all these people with speech bubbles who are asking questions. And you have some word cards. You don't need every single one. You've got four. You have to put the words back in order to make a question and then put them in one of the speech bubbles and add a question mark on the end. You know, you'll be more than capable of doing that. And then if you want to, there's a challenge where you have to read a question and you have to work out which question word goes at the beginning. So I'll read the first one to you. Something, do you like to go to the beach? Which word could we use there? Something, do you like to go to the beach? We could say, when do you like to go to the beach? Why do you like to go to the beach? There's a couple. See which ones will fit in to make a sentence which makes sense and then read it back and see if it sounds right. So best of luck with that one. And enjoy it, okay? See you soon.